live from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It's the Cube covering VTUG's New England Winter Warmer 2017. Now your host, Stu Miniman. All aboard, we're back here at the VTUG Winter Warmer 2017. I'm Stu Miniman, and we're at Gillette Stadium and really thrilled to welcome our final guest of the day, Dion Branch, of course, Super Bowl 39 yes. MVP. Uh, I remember many games here right. at Gillette Stadium and, and watching you, so thanks so much Man, for joining truly us. truly appreciate you. Why am I last, though? Well, you got to save the best for last. <laughs> oh, I, appreciate I, I mean, you. this is it. You know, you're yes, a closer, sir. man. You yes, know, sir. This is when I, I need to go to. Who do we throw to? We're throwing to you. I'll do my best. Awesome. <laughs> so much. So, uh, so, so, Dion, I mean, so many memories right. here. Uh, you know, and you, you think back, you know, you twice with the Patriots. Yep. Spent a little time up in Seattle yep. with, uh, you know, I, I remember Pete Carroll when he exactly. was coach here. Uh, I almost stopped getting my tickets uh, for right. those years, but he did well up there. Yeah. And uh, Seattle, great team. Yes. And good there. You know, you look back at your career, what's some of your favorite memories? Uh, man, it's clearly the Super Bowl. Yeah. Super Bowl victories. Uh, I think overall, you know, having an opportunity to be drafted by a first class organization such as the Patriots. And then also, you know, being traded to Seattle, that's another first class organization. And then having the opportunity to come back. Yeah. You know, just to finish my career here. I mean, I had a little coffee break. That's what they call it in yeah, Indianapolis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that was cool. But I, I think overall, just being a part of this organization, man, having an opportunity to win two Super Bowls. Um, we actually went to one. We lost. We don't like talking about that one, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, I think overall, the overall experience, um, you know, just a childhood dream, you know, just being blessed and, and very thankful for the opportunity that I had to be here. Yeah, and you know, the, the fans loved you while you yes. were here. Yes. Uh, you, you, I, I gotta compare and contrast for us, you know, Seattle, you, yeah. class organization. <clears throat> yep. They got that 12th man up there. I know. We got some great fans yeah. here in New England. I mean, yep. uh, you know, 12th fan, raise a flag and yeah. stuff like that. We got better fans here, uh, right? Oh, Dion? way better fans. Right. I think our thing <laughs> is the fans here, you know, very spoiled. Yeah. And I think that's the player's job. We do yeah. a great job of spoiling our fans. Yeah. Uh, the guys in Seattle did just at the time when I was traded. Yeah. Just wasn't used to actually winning, da da da. Yeah. Then now, unfortunately, they won the Super Bowl, which is great. Yeah. You know, it's probably one of the toughest uh, stadiums to play in. Yeah. You know, you come here, everybody's relaxed, everybody, everybody's very nice, yeah. you know, but expectations are very high. The bar is very high here. Yeah, there's been a couple of playoff games we get kind of loud here, but yeah. this is not a loud stadium. I've been to yeah. a couple others. It's, it's louder some other places, but, you know, good support, good yeah. knowledgeable uh, fan base. You know, you played here in, I mean, golden era. I mean, exactly. you know, I started, you know, after Kraft had bought the team and had a great run, but yep. people that have been here, I mean, you know, many years that, you know, the Patriots, yep. you know, had to build up and weren't, you know, the, the, the as you said, you know, uh, if we don't make the Patriots, oh, yeah. the playoffs, it's like, oh my God, what happened? And exactly. we just want another ring. That, that's all it's that's, about that's here. That's the only thing, that, that's what it's about <laughs> here. You know, the pedigree speaks for itself. Coach Belichick, he sets the tone early, early and often, each and every year. You know, once the season is over, it's time to move on to the next year. You know, regardless if we win the Super Bowl or not. You know, you, we win a playoff game, we get to the Super Bowl, we win. We may celebrate for about a week. <laughs> you know, then it's time to move forward to the next season. And, and once you get acclimated to that type of thing and, and going up under those situations, you understand what it's all about. It's, it's all about right now, the present time. Yeah, the culture, do your exactly. job, all, all that all stuff. All day. So, so you, you had the pleasure of working, you know, with one of the best players yeah. in the you know, greatest of all time, you yeah. know, Tom Brady the GOAT, right? Yes. TB12. Yes. We see him on social media. We see him on commercials. <laughs> Seems like he's a funny, you know, oh, yeah. you know, a little bit, you know, geeky almost <laughs> at times there. You know, to tell us what, what's some of your favorite Tom Brady memories. Is he is funny Man. as, oh, he, as is. he seems he's very online? Funny. I, yeah. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Yeah. What a lot of people don't understand about Tom, he's, you, you, you see his competitive nature on yeah. the football field. And that's my bro. Don't get mad at me, Tom. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'll never forget that one day I beat him in the locker room. Well, it was during training camp. Yeah. And uh, we had a little break, a two-hour break or whatever. And we was playing ping pong. And Tom lost like three times in a row. I beat him three times straight. And it was like 15 guys waiting for next. And he just completely broke all the paddles. Because <laughs> he was so mad. But it just goes to show you how competitive this guy is. He wants to win. You know, I mean, win at everything. So clearly, you know what it is on the football field. Yeah. The expectations is very high for this guy. He sets the bar very high for himself and also his teammates. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know people here in New England know, you know, he gets there early, he yeah. wants to win, the, you mm -hmm. know, the competition for training camp for like, you know, the spots and everything. He's out there, that, that must set exactly. some of the culture if, you know, exactly. the golden boy, you know, yeah. does that, everybody else needs and to I follow think the younger suit. guys yeah. see that, you know, and, you know, he's setting the tone for the team, not only just for the veteran guys, but you have these young guys who come in every year, thinks that once they get drafted, they've done enough, that's it. No, it's more to it than that. I mean, clearly, if you see Tom Brady busting his behind every day, then you know clearly I got to do the same thing. I need to fall in suit as well. Yeah, I, I, curious, you know, Tom's on this whole health kick. I mean, he's pliable <laughs> and he's doing all this training. I mean, it used to be, you know, you had off seasons and things like that and, right. you know, kind of diet and exercise. Did you see that over your career as to kind of them getting more technical and more involved and all that? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you see a bunch of guys doing that. You know, you, we're looking at my guy, Teddy Bruschi, behind yeah. me. But, uh, you know, all the veteran guys, once you go through this certain reign and you play one, two, three, four, five years, you try to figure out what's your niche. Give me some sort of things to kind of alter my off-season program. And, uh, you know, the health, the health thing has always been a big issue. If you want to play entirely, if you want to play 20 years, you know, such as Tom, Tom want to play 20 plus years. That's the most important thing. If you stay healthy, you can play those years. All right, so Dion, I know you've got a lot of things to do. We appreciate you coming. Exactly. The last question I've got for you. I mean, you look like you could go out and play on Sunday. Big I'm game waiting. coming up. Uh, you know, Patriots, Steelers. <laughs> what, what's your call? What's the score going to be? You know, who, what, what's going to happen? I think it's going to be a real good game. I, the Pittsburgh has always been a team that we see towards the end of the year. I mean, you got to expect the Steelers to be there. Baltimore. I mean, this was this was an off year for the Ravens. Uh, the expectation is for Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Flacco and Ben Roethlisberger. That's what it's been, and this is what we expected. And I think the guys are going to go out and take care of business. Who knows, man? 24, 20, you know, Patriots. Yeah. You know, my guys are going to pull it off, and I get back to the Super Bowl and get another ring. All right, well. Deion Brand, two-time Super Bowl champion, Super yes. Bowl 39 MVP. Thank you so much Thank for you. watching. We're back to wrap up here at the VTUG Winter Warmer 2017. You're watching The Cube at the home of the New England Patriots. <laughs>